Marlins hosting the New York Mets and Edward Cabrera makes his season debut at a really good spring hopes to pick up where he left off there. This one is skied way up into the rafters. It'll be Wendell waiting for it to come down. Jeff McNeil goes after the first one sends it out towards center jazz ranging back he'll have room gets underneath it for the catch. Bouncer right up the middle toward the second base bag and right there is Wendell. Tyler and McGill came to the rescue last year and was the Mets opening day starter today comes to the rescue to be their third game starter. And like clockwork another hit. In fact if you go back to last year that's now a 12 game hit streak for a rise. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming to Solaire and he mm. struck him out came up and in with the fastball and McGill has a K for his first out. 3 2 coming to Cooper. And he struck him out. Back to back strikeouts for McGill. Both have come on the fastball, and there are two down. 24th pitch of the inning for McGill, and it's hit on the ground. Lindor circles in to get it, throwing on the move, and he gets De La Cruz to end the inning. So McGill strands a pair, no score after one. Canna, who's 0 for 6 to start the season. DH yesterday, back in his more familiar left field. Canna drives one the other way over Sanchez's head and that'll bounce up against the wall. Canna digging for second and he'll make it safely with his first hit of the year an opposite field double. Sanchez was playing him shallow to the opposite field and Canna hit it over his head. And Arvaez gets one high in the air to right. Sanchez has a terrific arm. Canna tagging at third. Sanchez makes the catch. Here comes Canna. Here comes the cannon throw by Sanchez. Collision at the plate and Canna is safe. Sacrifice fly for Narvaez getting Canna home with the first run of the game and it's one nothing New York. Line oh. caught by Segura at third. Hot corner. <laughs> Went up to get it. Makes the catch. Takes away a hit. And keeps another run off the board. And a very good at bat for Jesus Sanchez. And he'll go to first with one out and Nick Fortes will be the batter. 3-1 to Fortes is hit well out to left. This one is long gone. Nick Fortes, a two-run homer. Boy, what a terrific game last night. A, a base hit, threw a runner out. Nick Fortes back in there today. It's a 94-mile-an-hour heater, and no doubt about it, he knew it. Top of the order, Arise has a base hit. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> because... Because when Luis Arise was a twin, I was told Rock Grew lives in Southern California. Love to watch the Twins telecast to watch this guy hit. What the reaction for Fortes oh, and yes. fires a strike to first base. What a play. Cabrera's not going to make this play. The only person's got a chance is Nick Fortes. That's on the tying run at third with two out for Narvaez, who drove in the first med run with a sacrifice fly. That's line the other way, a base hit for Narvaez, and that'll tie the game. So Narvaez out of the ninth spot is driven in both Met runs. Canna comes around to make it two to two. And the Mets have the tie-breaking run at second with nobody out. And Alonzo lines one down the line. That's a base hit, and the Mets will take the lead. McNeil around third comes in to score. Back-to-back -back doubles by McNeil and Alonzo, and the Mets go in front three to two. Second RBI of the season for Pete, who drove in 131 to set a Mets club record last year. Can has already doubled and walked in this game and scored the first two Mets runs. And he lines one in the right center field. That's down for a base hit. In to score comes Alonzo. Canna has an RBI, and the Mets lead 4 2. Mark Canna wasting no time. And the Mets have two runs home here in the fifth. Another opposite field hit. Luis Arise leads off the bottom of the fifth. And after the Marlins coughed up two. Arise lines one to center field. Shocking that yeah. he get another hit. How, right? fun, how fun is he to watch hitting? This guy, he's got an infectious personality. Uh, I'm not sure how well you know him yet, but he's a great guy who loves the game. And with two out, Jazz Chisholm, a left-hand hitter, will be next. Hard hit, ground ball, right center field, the base hit. Arise is on his horse around second. Sliding to his right is McNeil. He's got the baseball. Arise is going to stay put at third, but now the Marlins have the tying man on base with two outs. Hit sharply toward the hole. Lindor on the backhand. The long throw right on target. Side retired. Gorgeous play by Francisco Lindor. And the Marlins do not score. No two out of nobody on now Canna who's had a big day a double a walk a single he scored two runs he's driven in one 
And Canna flies one out to left center. Back in the gap goes Chisholm back near the wall. And it's out of here. Mark Canna with his first home run of the year. An 0-2 pitch. Canna hits it out of the yard. And the Mets lead it 5-2. to two. Well, maybe some, there's some of that strength. I thought he got under this ball. I did not think this ball was going out. And that ball just got out of here. Cooper for three today, a couple of strikeouts. As Cooper flies one right center, it's going to drop in for a base hit. Solaire goes to third. And a two out rally here for the Marlins are walking a base hit, bring the tying run to the plate. And it's Jazz. 3 2 coming to Chisholm. And a ground ball toward Guillaume. Bobbles it, grabs it, throws, got it. Side retired. A rare bobble from Luis Guillorme, but he's able to make the play and really gets the third out. 5 2 as we go to the eighth. It'll bring up Francisco Lindor. That's driven down the left field line by Lindor. It's going to go all the way back to the wall. Narvaez digging for third. He'll be held up there by Joey Cora. Lindor has got himself a double. His first hit of the day, and the Mets have second and third with two out. It's 5 for 23 with runners in scoring position. Making it five for 24. Here's Marte with first and second and one out, batting for Guillaume. Swing and a liner towards the gap in right center, pretty deep. Sanchez on the run, he won't get it. It's in for a hit. It bounces over the fence for an automatic double, which will allow one run to score, but cost the Mets another one for now because Pham has to stop at third. And now Robertson trying to finish it off. 0-2 coming. Struck him out. Robertson fans Solaire with a slider, one man down in the ninth. And he grounds one to third, could be two. Escobar to McNeil on to first, in time, and the ball game is over. 5-4-3 double play. Robertson puts on the finishing touches. Big day for Marcana. Big day for Pete Alonso. Big day for Omar Narvaez. Tyler McGill takes Verlander's spot and gets the win. And the Mets have taken two of three in Miami as they win this one.